Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be a St. Patrick's Day inspired look. Obviously, y'all can see I have the green shadow on. I have a little lime green situation top on right now. And I love how this look turned out. Y'all know I've done like a green infused look. Like mostly blue though because blue is my favorite color. But honestly, this one came out the popping. Alright. And y'all, guess what? I got a sewing. Like when was the last time y'all seen me with a sewing? I haven't gotten a sewing in about a year and a half. So... That's about how long it's been since y'all seen me one. But I am loving it. The same styles I did that, did this. And she is by my girl Mia. She is the truth, huh? Me. If you're in the Hampton Roads area, check her out. I'm going to put her Instagram down below. And she sells bundles to go and get you some. But if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look and what products I used to get it, then um, just stay tuned to the video. So y'all are zoomed out. Uh, we're going to start with face today. So I'm going to moisturize and boop with my Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Moisturizer in the pink grapefruit line. And I'm going to take a generous amount. My brows are already done. I went to the movies earlier and I saw what men want. I'm trying to have this base looking right and tight today. So I'm going to use this Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. I'm trying to really look like I don't know what a pore is. Like pore. Never heard of her. Um, That's what I'm aiming for today. So I am going to double prime. You know, go back to, you know, what I'm used to. And use a pore filling one in this region. And then most likely my Too Faced Born This Way. That's not what it's called. <laughs> My Too Faced Hangover RX Primer everywhere else. This focusing thing is really tripping me out today. It's not really focusing good for me. <laughs> Come on camera, let's work together boo. Um, for foundation, I'm gonna take the Lancome Tinty Doll in a 500 suede warm. So y'all yeah, have seen me use this before, I think. Um, I'm gonna take two pumps of that. I honestly probably don't need two pumps, but that's what I pumped out. So, oh, I'm using them. But I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me use this. Um, and I think when I used it the last time, I told you guys that my friend April recommended this because she uses this foundation. And it always looks good on her. So, she made me pick it up. You know what? Yeah, I've definitely seen me use this. I'm just, I was just thinking about it, and I don't know what video it was, but whatever video I did the day after, a couple days after me and my husband had went out for like date night, um, I had told y'all in that video that I had wore out to the bar and all that, and it had withstand, it had withstanded, it withstood the test of time. For concealer, I'm going to take this Huda Beauty Concealer in Peanut Butter. That's 24G. I'm really taking these unpopular opinion things a little bit too far, okay? So, I went on Instagram stories and, you know, I was just clicking through people's stories yesterday and somebody put Makeup Edition Unpopular Opinion. Um, all you need is brows. She either said brows and gloss or lashes and gloss. And I wanted, it took everything out of me, you know, not to, you know, respond back. I didn't, part of myself, <laughs> growth. Um, sis, last time I checked, unpopular makeup edition, makeup is what you want to put on your face and when you put want to put it on and how you want to put it on. So how are you going to tell somebody that that is all anybody needs is brows and gloss or lashes and gloss? Are you everybody, sis? Um... No, like last time I checked, honey, you was only one person and last time I also checked, um, one person isn't everybody. So, actually, actually, honey, um, don't speak for us. I'm not really sure why I played myself and didn't put my, um, contour on first. <sighs> I'm gonna do that now. Um, all right. So I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso to contour and I'm probably going to put a little bit more concealer on to blend 
out. Um, not really because it's a necessity, but because um, I want to. Oh, I just went ahead and added some of my Mocha Born This Way Concealer because this is a little bit more yellow than the Huda Beauty Concealer and I just wanted to add some of it so that's what I did. Now I'm going to go ahead and set where that I highlighted with my Laura Mercier powder and then I'm probably going to go off camera, do one eye and you know then we will resume this tutorial okay so as you guys can see as you guys can see i have gathered my thoughts and honestly y'all being this far away doesn't even do this justice because honey i killed this all right let me just be the one to let you guys know <laughs> So we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to prime my eye with my Born This Way Concealer. Um, and a good, is this mocha or maple? Oh, this is mocha. Why does it look so dark? Am I getting lighter? Dead. I know that's not happening. So the first palette um, I'm going to be dipping into today is a definite oldie but a goodie. Okay. It is going to be the BH Cosmetics Taking Back to Brazil palette. If you guys don't know what it looks like, this is what it looks like. And obviously, I'm going to be focused in this region right here. So, these colors don't have no names on them. But I'm going to dip into this and this, the two yellows. And I'm going to use that as a transition. Um, and I'm going to pat that on my eye. Definitely not going to swipe. Because if you swipe, you're definitely not going to get good pigmentation off of them. Yeah, I don't want y'all to just, like, if you had this palette and you just don't know what to do with it when you use it, I don't want y'all to use it and then be like, ew, girl, it don't even work. So, pat first, then blend. Thank me later. Oh, so then I'm going to take this M167 and I'm going to dip into this shade right here. And that definitely leans, um, I was about to say on the teal, on the turquoise side. It definitely doesn't. I don't even know why I was about to say that because I was about to lie. So I am patting that onto my crease before I blend it out. Um, the step I'm about to do, I don't feel like it's necessary, but I did it on the other side. So therefore I feel as though I do it on this side. So I'm going to take this lime green. Oh, wow. I'm going to take this lime green shade right there and I'm going to like buff this around like the edges of that green right there. And I'm going in circular motions. In one second, you're going to see why I feel like this was a waste of time. Um, but long story short, um, it's because once I do this part, I go back in with the other shade and basically go over it. So, yeah. This looks even. Even if it's not, this is what we're going with. All right. So now I'm going to cut my crease with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade 415, honey. These eyes are just 100% not created equal. It is totally fine, though. We're going to move past it. Um, the second palette I'm going to use is the, what is this? The Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place. And this is what it looks like. So this is definitely, I feel like majority shimmers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six. Yeah, this is definitely majority shimmers. Um, and that's exactly what we're going to dip into today. So we're going to be taking these two shades right here. First, this one and popping it directly like at the cut crease, that blue. And that's called... Dahlia. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what it looks like. So that's what's going to be called today. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take that blue, mm, wow, that green shade and it's called Molly, Molly, Molly. And I'm going to take that same brush. Oh, this is the M124 from Morphe. And I just pat that on there and I coated my brush pretty generous. And I'm patting this on my eye. So I'm starting like closest to my lash line and then working my way up to blend these two shades into each other. And then for the like inner and outer corner, I'm going to take that same shade that's in my crease and I'm going to pack that and buff it into the shimmer. I need some more. My brush is naked. I don't feel like this is doing this any justice. I'm gonna use this little what brush is this? Nika K, Nick A K, whatever, whoever. This concealer brush from them, and it's super tiny. And I'm gonna dip back into that blue and go over the edges so that way it's a little more defined. Then I'm going to go across, well, as you can see, I have like some liner right there. I'm going to line my eye um, with this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Pencil and Mainline. Um, then I'm going to go over the liner on my top and bottom lash line with the blue color Dahlia with that same concealer brush. And I'm going to take, what is this, M507 with that lime green shade that... I unnecessarily buffed out the top of um, my eye for it and with and then the shade that's in my crease and I'm going to buff this liner out down here. It's actually on this side but I have misplaced that at, oh wow what the world at this point so I'm going to use this instead. Oh the wand doesn't come bent like this but I find it to be a little bit easier to work with with the bended wand. Personal preference. So I didn't put any lashes on either eye yet because I wanted to show you guys what lashes I'm going to use today. So it's this company called Wispy Winks and I came across them on Twitter and the owner Ellie is the sweetest person in America. I honestly don't even feel like she's in America but y'all get what i'm saying so i ordered some i ordered two pair actually and they came today and i'm so excited so this is the box that it actually comes in like inside like the little mail thingy and it says a wispy winks get those eyes glamorized <laughs> okay i was waiting so impatiently for this so when you open it up let me unfold this paper because it was unfolded at first it comes with like this paper inside and it says the same thing that the box says and it says thank you for your purchase and then it has their instagram twitter and facebook and it says share your selfies using wispy winks so this little paper is so cute those little pictures on the bottom like what so i got two pair like i said the first pair I got was, it's called What's Good. First of all, it's like she made those with me in mind because like, y'all already know. Do what? So let me take it out the pack. I'm so excited. I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. So they come in this little um, resealable, like little packaging. I just tore the top off. And it comes with one of these is this a spoolie even if it's for your lashes? Whatever, that's what we're gonna call it today. Oh, these are so cute. And these are what the style What's Good looks like. Oh, I think these will be perfect for today. And then I also got the style Intoxicated. Ellie, 
Hey, sis, you're a genius. And then the other pair comes with the little spoolie too. And this is what the intoxicate, is it intoxicating? The intoxicated lashes look like. Oh, these are both so pretty. Which ones am I gonna wear? I think I'm gonna go with the intoxicated ones because Nah, I'm gonna go with what's good. I'm gonna go with what's good. So I'm gonna pop these on off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys so we can finish the rest of the face. So my lashes are on now and it took me a while to put them on, not gonna lie. Not because of the lashes themselves, but trying to trim them to where they fit with my eye high. Like, took a while, a lot of back and forth. But I finally did and I'm loving how they're looking. Super full, super cute, super flirty. My type of zhuzh, you know that's for me. So Ellie girl, <laughs> call me. I'm gonna be buying some more. So for bronzer, blush, and highlight today, I'm going to be taking the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter palette. And I'm going to be using all three of these shades right here. So I'm going to start with the bronzer, anti depresso. And then I'm going to take La Vida Mocha, the blush shade in the palette. I'm gonna take some of this Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder and pop this on my under eye. Just to brighten it up a little bit. So then I'm gonna take the highlight shade in the palette and that's called You're Grounded. I'm gonna take that on my Milani um, highlighter brush. Well, I'm gonna stir my face one more time. I seriously need to buy like five of these because this mist is the best mist that I have ever experienced in my whole 24 years of life. So for lips, I'm going to be taking this NYX liner and espresso. It's just the brown. I wish I knew where my MAC lip glass was, but as of right this second, I haven't even the slightest idea where it might be. So I'm going to take my Becca lipstick and yours truly, the nude and while i'm putting this on let me tell you guys how i was just sitting here trying to watch the um you know like theories that came out for the avengers movie since the new trailer came out and my wi-fi was really trying to clock me and come for me like sis i know i'm recording but can you just play please i'm trying to get my life Ooh. This looks girl. This looks freaking a uh, good. Okay, so let me take these uh, rollers on my hair, and then I'm gonna be right back. You guys made it to the end, and honestly, I'm looking real chocolate, like real thin mints ish. You know, real cute, real those chocolate mints they leave on your pillow in the um hotel, but. <laughs> Both of them is good, so that's the vibe, okay? That's what I'm going for because I love me some Thin Mints. What's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Because Thin Mints are definitely my favorite Girl Scout cookie. So shout out to y'all Girl Scouts. Y'all know what y'all doing with them cookies. All right. Nah, but for real though, <laughs> that's all I got to talk to you guys about for this video. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, you're fake. Fake. Capital F. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well, so that way every time I upload a video, y'all miss nothing. And y'all can be here with me, and y'all can see my face, because I'm cute, and y'all want to see me. I know, you're welcome. I try to be beautiful every day. I really do try. I only really succeed when I come on camera, but 
that's all I gotta tell you guys today so like I always say I'm your girl Tiffany thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video